Well, there are many ways we can help young people with chronic pain to treat their pain. Um, medications are just one tool that we have. They can be a very helpful tool for some young people and for others they can be just not particularly useful at all. And we need to recognise when they're helping and when they're not and be sensible about, sensible about how we use them. Um, but we need to also think about the things that, that are actually more useful and useful in the long term because we're talking about young people with a long life and medications are not a really good long term solution. And so what we need to do is take an, a different approach. It may include some medications, but we need to take a broader approach that helps young people to really draw on their strengths, to use the amazingness of their imaginations and the way they their brains can learn new things and to use the brain really as a huge, hugely important and powerful tool to take control of pain, to be able to feel and think differently in the presence of pain, to be able to do more and to have more fun whilst managing your pain. You just keep getting back up. So we know that our pain is affected by what we're thinking, feeling and what's going on around us at the time that the pain signal comes in. The really good news is that we can use our thoughts, feelings and the power of our brain to actually control and change the pain experience itself. So it's kind of in reverse, instead of just being an accidental, you know, everything's affecting your pain, you can use that stuff, this amazing brain, that's flexible brain to affect how the pain feels. So that's called neuroplasticity. It's a fancy name for neuro brain and plastic kind of flexible. You can still learn stuff and the brain adapts and changes and gets better at managing with pain. If you understand more about pain and your pain in particular, then you can understand that it's not such a threat to you, to your body. It's not a helpful warning anymore and it's okay to put it a little bit to one side to give it less focus and less attention and to use your brain to think about other things as well. We can also change the way we feel about this pain over here. It might be less scary if we know that it's not threatening to our body, that nothing bad's about to happen. So we can feel less scared and frightened by it. And then by doing more of the other things that we need to do and the fun stuff, we can also feel happier as well. And so it's not as depressing as it used to be. Once my specialist was able to explain to me really about this idea of retraining the brain and how everything worked, it was really good for me to know about that. And it gave me some new ideas about what I would be able to do to work with my physio and my specialist and I to retrain the brain and rewire these pain receptors and eventually reduce the pain to a level which was acceptable for me and then in the end it would just stop.